In order to evaluate uh, uh, the power savings uh, of uh, bit interleaving pawn, we have built a prototype of bit interleaving pawn as well as a prototype of the standard XG pawn in our lab. In our prototype, we have used FPGAs, which stands for Field Programmable Gate Arrays. These are chips that can that can be programmed and, and uh, implement different hardware based on that program. Uh, these chips are known not to be very energy efficient because they have very high static power consumption. However, in our measurements, we are able to subtract static power consumption and measure only the dynamic consumption, which gives us a good indication of, of what the, the real power uh, in the ASIC implementation would be. We have implemented central office equipment as well as uh, customer premises equipment known as ONUs. In the other room behind me, you can see the central office where we have a video server streaming video to the home. Also, we have two separate pawns with the central office equipment uh, known as uh, optical line termination, OLT. We have two OLTs, one for each pawn, and we have a switch that distributes video signal to both pawns. Between these two rooms, we have optical fiber that delivers uh, the optical signal uh, to the customer premises equipment, uh, also known as the ONU. And I'm going to show you what ONU looks like, what, would you, what you would normally have in your home. In our setup, uh, the ONU is implemented using these two boards that have identical hardware However, they are programmed differently for the standard XG pawn and for our bit interleaving pawn. As you can see on the screen, we are streaming a video, in this case, Lord of the Rings. This is, this is something you would do uh, in your home. And uh, all the traffic is, is going through our bit interleaved pawn. And the same traffic is also delivered to the uh, standard XG pawn ONU. We are measuring the power consumption of both ONUs uh, while performing this operation. So you can see on the first screen that XG pawn power consumption is about 3.7 watts of dynamic power. To be perfectly fair to, to the standard implementation, uh, we uh, are also uh, implementing it in, with, with sleep modes. And I'm going to show you uh, how much the power can be reduced if the, this uh, uh, XG pawn ONU is uh, switched to the operation in, in sleep mode. As you can see, the power goes down from about three and a half watts to about two and a half watts. This is a significant power saving, but uh, still it's less than 50%. On the second screen, you can see the power consumption of our bit interleaving ONU, which is obviously far lower than that of XG pawn. Currently, we are measuring about 60 milliwatts, which is about uh, 30 to 50 times less than, than the power consumption of, of XG pawn, depending on, on, uh, on the mode in which XG pawn is operating. Further, we have achieved a scalability of the, of the power consumption in bit interleaved uh, ONU. So uh, the, uh, when there is no traffic, actually our ONU is, is going to, perf to, to consume less power. And if I pull out the optical fiber from the ONU, you can see that the video will stop. And also, the meter is showing lower power consumption by another 50%. Next, we're going to show you the maximum power of our bit interleaving ONU, uh, which is measured while streaming the maximum bit rate to the ONU. Uh, this bit rate is uh, around one gigabit per second. Yeah, thank you, Dushan. So we're very excited about this result. Just think about it, we identified 99% of the data is unnecessarily processed in an ONU in an optical network unit today. By rethinking the protocol, we achieved more than an order of magnitude efficiency improvement. We have shown you a few watts improvements per ONU. Now you may think, why does that matter? But just 
multiply that by the 150 million uh, fiber to the home subscribers that are forecasted globally. If you multiply that, that's the equivalent carbon footprint of half a million cars. So we're taking, say, all the cars of San Francisco off the road. I'm very proud of the teamwork and we will let you uh, hear the partners say how they collaborated with us in Green Touch and what this means for future fiber to the home level. At Orange Labs, we imagine the network that powers the world's communications and we must make sure that we do so responsibly. Bit Interleaving Point technology is not only an innovation that pushes our industry forward, but also a symbol of our corporate responsibility to reduce the power consumption of our networks and how the networks can contribute to the European objective to reduce CO2 emissions by 20% by 2020. The slim mode can have an immediate impact on current fiber to the home systems, while the bit interleaving pond is an attractive long-term solution for low-power access network. We are very interested to test this demo in our labs in France because of what it holds for the future. It represents yet another milestone in the Retouch program and we are happy to have a part in this event. Hi Mike, Price itself are empowering a sustainable world and BPOM demonstrates how the Green Touch mission dovetails nicely into our own mission. Ultra low power operation is an important part of our own mission and the BPAN technology will move us one step closer to realizing this. Today's announcement shows what collaboration with the best and the brightest in the industry is capable of creating. We worked with Bear Labs to integrate their invention with our own ultra-efficient clock and data recovery solution into a custom chip. We'll be showing this system at an exhibition at the Telecommunication Industry Association Conference in Dallas in June. At INRIA, the French National Institute for Research in Computer Science and Control, we are passionate about advanced digital technologies to solve tomorrow's problem. The bit interleaving concept uh, is a kind of technology we are excited to be part of. Using BIPON allows for very simple and low power connectivity CPE at home. This will make a significant impact on the industry overall. It also fits into our green touch research on virtual home gateway, which challenges convention by taking out of the home the home gateway and deploy them in virtual cloud infrastructure. These two concepts will be demonstrated during the showcase in TIA in June 2012.